Hey everyone, Zian over here from Nintendo Life, and today we're so excited to be able to share with you that Animal Crossing New Horizons is getting a brand new update on July 30th, Thursday to be specific. As per tradition, this update is going to be entirely free, and it brings a boatload of new content to the game. Get ready to bust out your yukata because Animal Crossing is getting a fireworks festival and it's happening on every Sunday in the month of August starting at 7 p.m. There are supposed to be some new <clears throat> festive items that you can earn through a raffle ticketing system that Red's going to be running during the fireworks show, but we're not sure if that's going to be necessarily a new furniture set that's themed around fireworks or if it's just going to be some little items that you can wear and use during the festival or just whenever. You're also able to customize the design patterns of the fireworks in the sky. I'm not sure how intense that's going to get, but based on the customization of everything else in Animal Crossing, I imagine you'll be able to make a firework that looks like Mario or a Triforce or whatever you want. Some of you in the West here might also be curious why the fireworks festival is happening in August and not July or July 4th. But from what I've gathered, it seems like fireworks festivals happen way more often in Japan than here in the West, where they usually typically happen on the week of July 4th. Another sort of long awaited feature, which sounds weird to say because Animal Crossing has only been out since March, but we've known about this game for a while. The Dream Suite. The Dream Suite is finally coming back. And for those of you unaware, the Dream Suite was this place that you could visit in Animal Crossing New Leaf, where you would go and you would take a nap. And before you would fall asleep, you would actually enter a code that you would get from another human villager, one from your friend or someone you read online. And then it would take you to an exact copy of that person's village at that time that they created the code and then you could visit it in their dreams but then nothing would change nothing would happen so people would they would buy like additional copies of animal crossing new leaf and they would create these elaborate islands like uh, themed around all sorts of different things like ika village is still probably the one of the most iconic villages anyone has ever created and it's super spooky and i just learned thanks to my friend jess that apparently the original creator of ika village on the 3ds is remaking ika village for new horizons so please if if you see this hit me up i will buy you a pizza when it's finished i i that's a strange thing but i love pizzas and i would love to gift you the magic of a pizza for just putting in the work it's a, an absolute treat i legit cannot wait to get spooked all over again and this time there actually isn't a dream suite in order to access the dream world you actually just hop into bed and then a little prompt comes up and asks if you want to fall asleep or if you just want to lay down for a while i imagine if you have friends over or your gate open or something like that you probably can't access the dream suite but i'm also curious if you can access the dream world when you're on your beach or if you just have a bed placed in a random spot on your island or if you can only access it when you're in your house. Regardless, I am so stoked that dreams are actually coming back to Animal Crossing. Being able to share a photocopy essentially of your island online with just a simple code is such a perfect thing. Another highly requested feature that's finally coming to Animal Crossing New Horizons is some sort of backup service. Starting on July 30th, you'll be able to upload your island data essentially to the cloud. And then in case of your system getting stolen or broken or something, you know, fatal happening to it, you'll be able to re-download your island. But it doesn't sound like it's going to be as easy and convenient as one may hope. If you do end up getting a different switch, if you lose your system, it sounds like you're going to actually have to contact Nintendo support in order to get your old island back. I imagine this is probably set in place so that way people don't try to game the system, but it's nice that there actually is going to be some insurance essentially on your island. If if you do get it stolen or your switch breaks or whatever, you at least have that pillow to know that your island was saved and Nintendo has it. They're holding it somewhere for you. <laughs> and then at the end of the video, Nintendo teased that the next update that's going to come after that will be the fall or autumn update. And they also teased it with a picture of Jack. Who is essentially the king of Halloween in the Animal Crossing world. Of course, his name is Jack. Feel free to let us know in the comments down below which part of this new update to Animal Crossing New Horizons makes you the most excited to continue playing the game or to dive back into it again. And as always, if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more content like this, then why don't you uh, go ahead and take a big old nap and have a nice dream and then click that subscribe button in your dreams and then ring that notification bell to be notified whenever we release new videos. Thank you all so much for watching. I'm Zian from Nintendo Life. Stay safe out there and we will see you next time. Oh.